Hello, in this tutorial we'll be creating a program which will calculate the area of shapes. The user will have the option to either find the area of a rectangle or a circle. If the user enters R, then the user will be prompted to enter the height of the rectangle and the width of the rectangle. The result will be displayed at the end. If the user enters anything else besides R, then the user will be prompted to enter the radius of their circle. And finally the area of the circle will be displayed. First of all, let's display a message to the user telling them which key to press for which calculations. So let's use console.writeline and in speech marks let's type what shape would you like to find the area of? Please enter R for rectangle or any other key for circle. Next, we'll need to store the user's answer in the string variable. At the top, let's create a string called answer. Then let's assign answer the letter the user has just typed in. Next, we'll need to make a decision based on the letter the user has just typed in. We'll use an if statement. So if answer is equal to R in speech marks, so here we'll be writing the code to calculate the area of a rectangle. First of all, let's use a console.write line saying please enter the height of the rectangle. Then let's create a float called height and assign it float.pass console.readline. So this will take the data that the user has just entered and convert it into a float. Now let's gather the data for the rectangle's width. Once again, let's use a console.write line to display a message saying please enter the width of the rectangle. And once again, let's create a float and this time we'll name it width and let's assign it float.pass console.readline Next, let's create another variable of type float called result. This float will be responsible for storing the result calculated. So at the top of the program under answer, let's create a float and name it result. And finally, inside of our if statement, let's set result to the height multiplied by the width. So great, we've now completed the calculation code for the rectangle's area. Next, let's move on to calculating the area of a circle. So if a user does not enter R, then else. Let's first of all ask them to enter the radius of the circle. So please enter the radius of the circle. Then inside of a float called radius, let's set it to float.pass console.readline. So once again this will take the data the user has just typed in and convert it into a float and then store it inside of our radius variable. And finally we'll need to calculate the area of a circle using the pi r squared formula. So let's set result to and to get the value of pi we'll use math.pi. As this returns a double we'll want to cast it to a float and then we want to multiply it by radius times radius. We've now finished the calculation code for the area of the rectangle and the area of the circle. And finally, the last thing we need to do is print out the result to the user. So let's use console.write line. Then the result is plus result. Finally, at the end of our program, let's add a console.read key to stop the console window from closing straight away. So let's run it. Then if we enter R, we're prompted to enter the height. So let's do four. Now let's enter the width, let's say eight. And it says the result is 32. Let's enter any other key, A. We'll say, please enter the radius of the circle. Let's enter seven. 
and it will show you the result is 153.93805. And with that, we now have a fully working program that can calculate the area of a rectangle or of a circle. Of course, feel free to experiment with this program and change it in any way. For example, you could allow it to calculate the area of even more shapes. As usual, if you'd prefer to see a written version, a link to the blog post will be posted in the description. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next.